Okay, here I am, back again on the AS Rock. Okay, so I thought, well, you know, uh, I'll start. I clicked on the browse button. I didn't mention that there's a browse button in there, and uh, you know, it would have let me browse to my DVD. But I thought, man, what if I really did uh, mess up and click the 32-bit uh, version, and I'm running, going through all that installing, and to find out later that it, that's what I did. So I rebooted. So it went to this screen. I just left the DVD in there because I didn't think there'd be anything bootable on it. But it did have something bootable. But look what it has. Uh, uh, let's see. Driver Disk Preparer. ASRock Incorporated. Incorporation. You mean Incorporated? All rights reserved. Um, N68C GSFX. That's the board. Um, select a source. Okay, so it's one, you know, it's got XP 2000, XP 64, and then exit. So I wonder if the drivers on here are not even for Windows 7. That would be a bad thing. Reboot system now. Okay. <coughs> now I may have to take that DVD out. Well, I'm going to have to. Better hurry up and try to do it. Now it probably won't cooperate. Oh, it worked. Better take it all the way out so that it won't. If it shut, I don't know if the door's going to shut or not. Yeah, it did. I'll just wait. Then I can get back up here and put it in in a minute. Okay, but of course it did that. Okay, uh, if you haven't seen this before, this is what happens when it doesn't. Better hurry up and get it. Whoops. I had to hurry up and uh, stop it from automatically going into that repair mode. Okay, now I'll take my. SD card out. I'll just put it in the other slot. You can actually, I found out you can put it back in the same slot, but I usually just do that. Then control all delete. <coughs> and uh, we should uh, see our SD card now this time. That's the weird, I'm going to call it just say bug for lack of a better word in the AS Rock. Uh, auto recognize setup. And there is no manual setup in there to make it, to tell it boot to this or boot to that. At least not with the USB. I think you can tell it different types of drives and stuff, like hard drives. Um, I don't think you can say boot to CD or boot to uh, USB always. On some machines, that's what you got to do, you know, and then change it back when you're done. So you know, other than that, not always working. Uh, it could be, it could be easier. For people, especially for, I mean, it would be easier for people that don't know how to work in BIOS, but it won't be easier for them if they don't uh, have any experience and know to try all these silly little tricks, you know, like hold your tongue on the left side of your mouth and reboot, you know. Okay, now, there it is, x86-64, phone, you are my witness. Uh, that's what I'm booting to. Let's see if it boots like it did a minute ago. Okay, now I want O. Okay, warning. To install Windows from USB hard disk, you also need ETB helper or USB flash drive. If you do not have one, you will get a DVD drive. Device driver is missing message. Please read the easy tutorial for more. Huh, I didn't see that a minute ago. Did I just not pay attention? Warning. To install Windows from a USB hard disk, you also need the an ETB helper USB flash drive. If you do not have one, you will get a DVD drive. Device driver is missing. Message. Please read the easy to boot tutorial. Proceed to continue. That didn't happen to me a minute ago. I don't even remember seeing this message a minute ago. I didn't have to. I don't remember having to hit anything. I'm going to hit C to continue. Okay, it's going right through it. As long as I don't get an error, I'm fine. But what I remember is that's when you're using NTFS file system uh, on your US, your uh, SD, USB device. And I'm using uh, FAT32. And it's not supposed to give you that error. <coughs> so, there's so many in, ins and outs and ifs, if then, then that on the uh, easy to boot. It's really cool when it works, though. Now, I guess it will look for that driver DVD again. 
And this time I'll put my uh, <coughs> I'll put my uh, install now. Of course, if you've ever never done it before, you can go in there and uh, what to know before installing. You may want to use that if you don't know if it'll work on your computer and repair your computer. You could do that. So um, if you just wanted to repair your system because this will format your drive and delete all files on the drive you put it on. So that's the other thing you got to make sure if you got two drives like I do here and I'm going to keep the old other drive then uh, want to make sure and get hit the right drive. Okay. A device driver is missing just like we said before so now I'm going to go put my uh, DVD in there. My little um, S Rock DVD came with my motherboard. Uh oh, I shouldn't have talked bad about that DVD drive. Now it's not one to open. There we go. And then I had to turn the computer over to press it and press it hard as I could to get it to do it. <clears throat> okay, um. It's really odd that they would go for that much trouble on the doors and stuff for that uh, the DVD drives on a, a budget model computer, and especially the, and then and then have it not work very well at all. Okay, I'm gonna say okay. Now this is what it did a minute ago. It just sat there, but I do will wait until I hear the drive quit spinning, because you know you gotta. Uh, with the DVD, CDs and DVDs, if you can still hear them spinning, then they may not be through reading yet, and that might be why you don't see anything yet. And then, uh, I mean, it didn't take forever. So, I keep uh, stopping and starting and using short, uh, well, for one thing, you know, the videos get long and ridiculous, but, uh, the other thing is, uh, I only had about 11 gigabyte left on this phone when I when I started it up today, so let me move it out a little bit so I can see. I probably should just stop right now. Yeah, I'm down to 8.7 gigabyte right now from just what I've done today. So let me stop and wait for a little bit before I click on browse or do any of that stuff. <clears throat> 